as of Monday, a sexual assault evidence tracking system is up and running here in Amarillo, allowing survivors of sexual assault to electronically track the evidence in their cases. The system was made possible by House Bill 281, which was passed back in 2017. KMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has that story from your local election headquarters. Amarillo Police are working with DPS, which will oversee the sexual assault evidence tracking program statewide. The law requires the system to track the status and location of each item of evidence through various stages of the criminal justice process. Survivors of sexual assault will then be given access to a portal to track the progress of their rape test kit. The timeline may not be what they want it to be or think it should be, but they know where it's at and they can contact whoever, what, whichever agency has it and say, hey, um, I have questions. Can you answer these questions? And so that also gives them a little bit more um, power in, in their case. Sergeant Carla Burr says APD submits all evidence from rape test kits within 14 days. She believes the system will boost transparency between law enforcement and survivors of sexual assault. The tracking system can perhaps bring some level of closure simply, simply with the information that, that this is being followed through. Kathy Tortorio serves as Family Support Services Director of Crisis Services. She says they coordinate closely with law enforcement to provide services for survivors. Tortorio says the tracking system will greatly benefit survivors whether their cases move forward or not. And so then it gives our advocates the opportunity to continue to support that person one way or the other. The not knowing is sometimes the most frustrating or the most frightening or the most overwhelming. It's going to give them information and that can assist in moving forward to the healing process. In Amarillo, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. The sexual assault evidence tracking system will be implemented statewide September 1st as required by the law. Sergeant Carla Burr says APD does not have a backlog of rape kits waiting to be tested.